Hi everyone, my name is Mohaiman. In this video, you will learn following topics. Basic chart in Excel, adding chart elements, editing a chart, printing and saving options. Our first topic is basic chart in Excel. You are already familiar with the data analysis and data visualization capabilities of Excel. For this lecture, I'll create a basic chart based on my data. First, I'll select the data by highlighting the cells. Then I'll go to insert tab and under the chart groups, I'll click on insert column or bar chart. In this, I have different categories like 2D and 3D column or bar chart. I'll select clustered column from 2D column. As you can see, the chart is blank because I gave the Excel every different type of columns like number of students, student's name, subject, marks, and grades. Let's say if I delete the chart and again go to insert tab and under the charts group, I'll click on recommended charts and click on the first recommended chart. Excel gave me a chart based on my selection, but I am unable to interpret it. Let's again delete the chart and again select the data from column B to column F and press our shortcut key to create a chart which is ALT plus F1. Now you can see that there are different students in which subjects are clustered above them. Now this chart is easy to understand and I can share it with my manager. One thing here is worth mentioning that when I created a chart, a new chart tab appears through which I can change its design and different options. If I only want to see the total marks for all the students, then again, I'll delete the chart and select the column B and while holding the control key on my keyboard, I'll select total marks and you can see the shortcut to create chart is ALT plus F1 or you can go to insert tab in charts group, click on insert column bar chart and choose clustered column in 2D column. Now this chart is easy to interpret. Second topic is adding chart elements. Once you have created your chart, it's time to add it so it looks professional. When you click on the chart, it gives you three different options which are chart elements, chart styles and chart filters. Most of the time in Excel, we have to add chart elements. So we will focus on this. You can also access the chart elements by going to the chart design tab and under the chart layer group, you can click on the add chart elements to access all the options. If you have an older version of Excel, the chart elements will appear under chart design tab. First, I'll rename my chart by triple clicking the title, which is report card 2024. I'll again click on the chart and click on chart elements and a new mini menu will open with further options. I want to add access titles of both primary, horizontal and vertical. I'll check them. I'll add the titles which are students and total marks. I want to see the total marks of each student at the top of the column. I can also add it from chart elements button available next to a chart, but I'll add from the chart design tab so you can see both the options. Go to the chart design tab and under chart layouts, click on add chart elements. Now go to the data labels and select outside end. One thing to keep in mind that when I click off the chart, the chart that design ribbon disappears and when I click on the chart, the tab appears again. Our third topic is editing a chart. Now I'll edit my chart. First, I'll change the font, font size and color of the chart. I'll select the chart and go to home tab and choose my desired font, size and color. Now I'll bold the axis titles and main titles. For bold, I'll use a shortcut key, which is Ctrl plus B. One thing which I don't like is the font size of data labels. I'll reduce its size by selecting the data labels and click decrease font from the home tab. Now I'll add an outline on the vertical and horizontal axis. I'll select the chart and right click on vertical axis, click on outline and choose black color. For horizontal axis, I'll do the same. Now I'll remove the axis grid line by clicking on any line and hit the delete key from keyboard. I don't like the color of my columns. So I'll right click on the column, 
fill and choose a color I like. Now I'll apply borders for the columns again. Right click on the column, outline and choose black color. The borders are not visible. I'll increase the weight to one point. Now my chart is a professional looking chart. If you like this chart and want to use it in your other projects, you can save the chart by right clicking on it and choose save as template to your desired location. Our fourth and final topic is printing and saving options. Now my sheet and my chart is ready to print. To print this sheet, I'll go to file, print. In the print review, my five columns are on page one and other columns are on page two. That's very unprofessional. To fit my sheet on the entire page, I'll go back. One thing I've noticed that when I moved back from the print review, my Excel sheet is showing me dotted lines. These dotted lines represent the page which will print my Excel sheet. To further confirm the print preview, I'll go to view tab and under the workbook views, I'll click page break preview. Now that's page one and page two. I'll again click on normal and then click on page layout, orientation and choose landscape. Now I'll again go to file and print. Now my last two columns are in page two. So to fix this, I'll go to view, page brick view and move the blue dotted line at the end of the data. Now when I use the shortcut key, which is control plus P, my sheet is print friendly. Now I can choose my desired printer and select the number of copies I want to print. It's up to you. Do you want to print only one page or give a range? There are many different file options in which you can save your Excel document. If I click on save a copy and then click on browse, a new window will appear. And if I click on save as type, there are many file types. Excel's default format is .xlsx. If I want to save my sheet as a PDF, I'll simply select the PDF. I'll give it a name and save it to my desktop. When I open my PDF, it's a professional looking chart along with the data. There's the end of the video. I'll see you again in my upcoming lectures. Try to solve the quiz and mention your score in the comments section. Thank you.